Do you use a lot of templates? And do you use Google Docs? I'm going to show you how you can create and save your own templates in Google Docs. Hey Sanhei, I am Pixel Pia, and I love using the Google system and templates. And today I'm going to combine the two and show you how easy it is to make templates for yourself. So today we're going to work with Google Docs and Google Drive. So let's take a look at my computer. So here we are in Google Docs. As you can see, up at the top you have a template gallery. Let's take a look. You have resumes, different types. You have different type of letters and you have some personal templates for, and then you have a lot for work like project proposals, meeting notes, newsletters and then we have a lot for education. Of course you can use one of those to start with but today I'm gonna make a template like this. This is a template I have started to work on for my upcoming podcast, A Swedish Fika. I started with a blank slate. The first thing I did was I named it A Swedish Fika Newsletter Template. Everything we do in docs, in sheets, in slides will be saved to our Google Drive. And the next thing I will do since I want to save this as a template is go on the file and move this open a little shortcut to my drive my templates is a folder I created so I want to move the template in there so I click there I will insert a header and a footer let's start with the header if I just click on the document here, you can't see the header no more. All I have to do is to double click up at the top. And here I want to put a Swedish pika. I also want to change the color and that will be in Fjella. Fjella one and the color will be a custom color. And let's make it a little bit bigger. Under that, I want to write newsletter, the midnight blue here. There is a specific reason why I chose these two colors. They are the colors of the Swedish flag. I want the word newsletter to be in a different font. Hmm, that looks pretty good. That's all I want in the header. I can also, under options, I can set a header format. It will be half an inch from the top while my footer will be just a quarter of an inch. Now I'm going to insert a date. August 4th, 2021. This will be in my cantaral. I didn't put that in the header because I want to be able to change that every time. Now let me insert a image. And I'm going to upload it from the computer. That doesn't look how I want it to look. So I can right click and say crop image. And I'm going to make this a little thinner. So I just grab the edges like that. And I click outside when I'm happy with how it looks. And now I'm going to make it so it fills the page. That's how I want my newsletter to look at the beginning. Then I want a heading here. I want the Fiala one and I want a heading one. News. You can call that whatever you want. To make it easy on myself, I'm just opening the template I had already done and just copy the text here and paste it. I did include a footer as well. And in the footer, I want to insert special character. And when you want a special character, you go under insert, special characters, and then you can search. And I want the copyright sign here. So 
I write copy, that's all I needed to write. And here we go, copy 2001 pixel 3. And I can change this to my control. And I want it small like that, and I want it centered. So now it looks like a pretty good template. And we have saved it in our <clears throat> drives. Let's close our documents here and go back to my drive, my templates. And here we have it, the template I just made. I want to save that as a template. So when I want to use it, I right click on it and go down to make a copy. And here we go. If I open the copy now, I have everything I had in my template. First thing I must remember is number one ASF newsletter and I don't need the word template in there. So I have renamed it. I am going to move it and this time I click the little folder up here and I have to click the back arrow because right now it is in my template. I click the folder I have for the Swedish Fika and I say move here. Hey son, hey, this is my first newsletter. And as you can see, it is all already filled in. My header, my date, my photo, my bottom, and it's all set up the way I wanted it to be. In my templates, I have only the one template I created, the copy I used and I moved it into a Swedish Fika as number one of ASF newsletters. That's how easy it is to create a template using Google Docs. I hope you got some value out of this tutorial. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you have any kind of questions about creating templates or anything else that has to do with Google Docs or Google Drive, which are two of the Google programs I will do more tutorials about. But if you at this point have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them or to create a tutorial about your problem. Until next time, remember, never stop learning.